Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a little vlog style intro because I'm going to be cleaning my makeup drawers, doing a little bit of decluttering, but mostly I just feel like my makeup drawers need to be cleaned and reorganized a little bit. It's been a couple months since I last did this and my makeup drawers I feel are personally a mess and I do not like when they are like that. So I figured I'd take some time today, take you guys along with me, do some actual cleaning, a little mini declutter. I'm not going to get rid of too much in my collection, but there are some things in mind that I can get rid of that are kind of old or I don't really have use for anymore. But it's been a little while since I did this. Actually went through my drawers, wiped stuff down, cleaned all of my foundation fingerprints off of everything. And I personally really like to watch clean with me videos. So this is kind of like half of a mini declutter and half of a clean with me, reorganize with me type of video. I just thought it would be more fun if I took you guys along. I thought I could inspire you guys to clean up your own makeup collections. So I hope you guys enjoy and if you are interested in a video like this, make sure to keep on watching. So getting started in today's video, I do think I'm going to start off with cleaning my vanity. This is the background that you guys see in pretty much every single one of my videos. And although I'm sure you guys cannot see from here, it is very, very dusty. Dust accumulates on this white surface so fast and it's very apparent in person. So I also wanted to quickly show you guys, I got this new chair that I've been sitting in to film for Christmas. It's from Amazon. It is absolutely amazing and comfy. I love the pink color. I definitely will have this linked down below if it's something you guys are interested in for your vanity space or just if you have a desk in your room or something. It has been so comfy, but the first thing Thing I want to do is definitely go ahead and just take everything off of my vanity. This will just make it a lot easier to wipe down and clean and I will show you guys how I clean my Linman tabletop from Ikea as well. I think my camera is having a little bit of a trouble focusing because this is just such an open white area but I know this is random and again I know some of you might like cleaning videos. I know some of you might find this really boring. I personally love cleaning videos so if you don't like dust and stuff like that you don't have to watch this but this is so incredibly dusty but I like to dust the top of my tabletop because this thing gets so dusty so I'm just going to use a Swiffer. It picks up the dust so well and I will show you guys how much dust actually comes off on the Swiffer and of course some of it is like eyeshadow powder and stuff like that too. So look you guys there is all of the dust on the Swiffer that came off of the top of my vanity. It is really dusty as I said it's been a couple of months since I last clean this and dusted this, but I figured in the new year it was definitely time to uh, do some deep cleaning. And I definitely do like to go in with the dry Swiffer first because if you go in with like Windex and a paper towel, it's just going to kind of clump up all of that dust instead of picking up the dust nicely. And now I like to go in with a little bit of a wet cleaner. But in my case, I honestly just use a baby wipe. I've always just used a baby wipe. I find that it cleans the surface really nicely and it's really gentle and stuff as well. And then I will also always take the baby wipe down the front of my drawers because these are usually the dirtiest. So when I'm doing my makeup and then I try to like go in and grab for something else, I will always leave fingerprints and foundation stains on the front of these drawers. I think the last thing that I want to do is switch my eyeshadow palettes from here, which is just like a one compartment acrylic organizer back into my big by Allegory palette organizer. I think last time I organized my makeup collection, I put them from here to here, but I don't really like them in here anymore. You guys know I'm always changing how I like things to be, so I'm going to organize them back in here. I think it just gives them a little bit more separation and makes them look a lot neater.
Okay, so there's the top of my vanity all nice and clean. I know it might seem like I didn't do much, but just taking away some of that dust and reorganizing the eyeshadow palette was exactly what I needed to do. I am looking for something a little different when it comes to my face brushes. I might try to go to TJ Maxx or Home Goods and see if I could find another cup that's similar to the one that houses my eye brushes and my smaller brushes. But if you guys have any other ideas for the top of my vanity, Vanity, definitely let me know. I'm always looking to change things up. I might put the lipsticks in my drawer. I'm not sure yet. It's definitely a work in progress, but again, if you guys have any vanity recommendations, definitely send them my way because it's always something that I've been looking to change. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get into cleaning the drawers. This is the very first drawer in my makeup collection, and as you guys can see, it is an absolute mess, at least in my opinion. I know everyone has their own definition of a mess but this definitely needs some help and some reorganization so going into this and how I've done this in the past is just remove absolutely everything from the drawer because I want to make sure I'm giving my drawers a nice deep clean so removing everything will help me wipe it down get rid of any fingerprints or sometimes like my hair or something falls in to the bottom of the drawer so I'm just going to remove absolutely everything and then we'll move on to the next step How I clean every drawer is actually really easy. All I do is take out the liner and then I just wipe it down with a baby wipe. I don't like to use any chemicals or anything like that inside of my makeup drawers just because, you know, I am touching my face, applying lipstick, touching my eyes and stuff like that in the process of doing my makeup. So I just like to keep it chemical free. I find that there's no need to really hardcore disinfect this area, like nothing really grimy touches my makeup drawers I guess you could say and my hands are always clean when I do my makeup as far as how this actual drawer was organized I definitely think I liked it I really did like the front of the drawer where here I have my ColourPop Super Shocks and then next to that I had the two long and skinny organizers I'm just gonna like wipe these down a little bit again this is something that probably has a lot of fingerprints on it and stuff like that so I have one for my brow products and then I have one for my mascaras and eyeliner that I like to have accessible right next to it. I know there were a couple of things in this container that I do think I'm going to declutter just because they are extremely old or very dried out. So the first one is this e.l.f. Keep Your Curl Mascara. I used this this morning and it was so incredibly dry. It made my lashes really clumpy, but thankfully I do have a brand new backup of this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this new one in a second, but this one I'm going to put in my empties drawer so I could talk about this with you guys in my next year's empties. I also decided that I do think I am going to finally declutter my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencils. These are so nostalgic and I know I've been holding on to these for a very, very long time, pretty much just for nostalgia reasons, but these are so old, you guys. Like, I want to say 2014 old at this point. I do think I'm going to keep everything else that was in this bin, but as you guys can see, my sharpener did break, I think, or the sharpenings just fell out, so I'm going to clean this out. And then really quickly, inside of my mascara and eyeliner container, I think I'm going to declutter this CoverGirl Uncensored Mascara. I think I got this back in March, and as you guys see, look, it is so dried up it's actually stuck closed. So I don't think that I could get much use out of this. I did use this for a couple months straight, so I'm pretty sure I got as much use out of it that I did. And I don't believe it's completely empty. I don't think I used the whole thing up, but you guys can see it's so dried up at this point, I can't even get it open. So I have no use for it in my collection. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to finally do it in this back container right here. I'll zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. But in this back container right here, I have lots of different eye bases, gel liners, hot eyeliners, and stuff like that. I think I'm going to finally get rid of my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pod. If you guys can see, this is another product that I've been holding on to again, just for nostalgia reasons, but I know this is old. This is so dried up as well it doesn't even like nothing even comes out of the pot you guys can probably see how cracked up it is as well 
but I know this is old again this is another product I've had since probably 2014 I think it's finally time to let go of my Mac soft ochre and that will leave a little bit more room in here. I think into this container, I'm going to add my AOA Studio Wonder Bake Eyeshadows. I kind of just had them sitting loose in my drawer. And I'm also going to throw in my Kaja Studio Bento Eyeshadow Stack, I believe it's what it's called. I showed these in my recent winter makeup routine. I absolutely love this eyeshadow stack. It is so unique and gorgeous. And I don't really have another great spot for it storage wise so I'm just going to put it in here with some other eye bases and stuff like that okay so there's the first drawer reorganized I feel so much better already I'm sure some of you guys are like Jackie that didn't even make a difference but it definitely feels cleaner to me I finally have some more room for my single shadows got rid of a couple things as you guys can see here, I'll show you everything that I declutter from my collection at the end of this video. The next drawer down, I have my compacts and I have everything in one big Sunny Cosmetics organizer, which I'm just going to remove from the drawer. I have a feeling this drawer is probably not even that dirty. All right, so as far as decluttering goes, I do think that there are a couple of things that I want to declutter in this drawer. The first one being the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Rose Champagne. I honestly just don't use this anymore. Ever since I got the new formula of their Color Icon Blushes, these are just so much better. I never reach for the original formula anymore. And I kind of have held on to it because I'm like, oh, what if I need it for a video? But I literally never grab for this. I've gotten so much use out of it and it's kind of starting to get those like little bumps inside the formula, which tells me that it's probably gone bad. So I'm going to pull this one out of my collection along with this Rimmel Natural Bronzer. This is actually brand new, so I'm going to pass this along to a family member or one of my friends. It's still sealed and everything. I actually ordered this for when I did the testing Amazon makeup video in the summer, and it didn't come in time, and when I went to return it, they refunded me and never even made me send it back, but this isn't something that I'm actually very interested in using myself, so I'm just going to pass it on to one of my friends. I think those were the only two things that I really wanted to declutter out of here. The rest of these products I do get my use out of or I save them for different video ideas and stuff like that. So I'm just going to quickly rearrange this. I think all the way on this left side, I'm going to start with my drugstore bronzers. Moving down, the next drawer here houses my foundations and my base products. This is definitely something that you guys have seen before. I reorganized this drawer in my last video when Sunny Cosmetics sent me some organizers. This back here is a Sunny Cosmetics organizer that I absolutely love. I don't really think I'm going to do much reorganizing in this as far as changing some stuff around, but there are a couple of things off the top of my head that I know I want to declutter. Here I have the e.l.f. CC Cream. This is brand new, their camo CC Cream. I'm not gonna give any spoilers. I did try this out for the first time yesterday. I'm still trying to figure out my thoughts on this. That's all I will say, but if that video is up already, you guys can go check it out to see more. One product in this drawer that I do think I'm going to part with is the Wet n Wild Foundation. I know this is 1000% past the expiration date. This is very old, at least a couple of years old. I did open this up the other day and it just seems very dried up on the inside. This is something that I got so much use out of. The color was never perfect. 
perfect and this is a foundation that really oxidizes on me and I would say overall this was just a better formula for my skin when I was more oily and acne prone. Now that I am a little bit more dry to combo, I like more of a luminous look to my makeup. This definitely doesn't give me that and it's just way too matte for my liking and it's a little heavy as well. I could finally declutter my Smashbox primer water because I finally used it up. This is another product that I've had in my collection for a really, really long time and I finally feel like I used up as much of it as I can. As I'm sure you guys can see, there's like the tiniest bit of liquid at the bottom. I've tried to use up the rest of this, but it's just a really bad, like thick, foamy spray, and it ruins the way my foundation looks when I've tried to use this. I'm going to be putting this in my empties drawer to chat with you guys at the end of the year. I was just cleaning up my primers and I do think I'm going to declutter this primer as well. Another Wet n Wild product that is just extremely, extremely old in my collection. And not only that, I mean, I did like this, but I just feel like when it comes to First of all, so much comes out when you squeeze it, but I feel like when it comes to luminous primers, I'm trying to get this to focus so you guys can see. This is just too luminous. Like it looks like a liquid strobing highlighter and that's not the type of dewy primer that I like. I find that this doesn't do much of anything at actually smoothing out the skin or making my makeup last longer. I kind of just find it's like a liquid highlighter and I don't know, I just don't love it anymore for underneath foundation. I'm going to do some research and look up the batch code on this because there is a lot left. So if it's not expired, this is something that I could totally pass on to friends or family, but I'm going to make sure it's not expired before I do so. All right, you guys, it is a couple days later for me. If you notice what I'm wearing is different or something like that, but I took a little break from cleaning and organizing my drawers the other day and we're gonna pick it up with this drawer right here. So this drawer holds face palettes, blush palettes, also cream highlighters and bronzers, smaller face palettes. This drawer, I really like how it is organized with the palettes in the front and then this really nice Sunny Cosmetics organizer with these larger like compact slots in the back. But I do think it could use just a little bit of like shifting around. I don't know if I could declutter a couple things in this drawer. Looking in this organizer now, I do think that I'm going to have to declutter my ColourPop Super Shock highlighters just because I was trying to think of how old these are. I remember purchasing these when ColourPop first came out, which I believe is 2014 or 2015. And although these are so pretty, I just unfortunately never find myself reaching for them. And especially this one right here, this is in the shade Wisp. I used to wear this every single day in, I don't know, like my freshman year of high school. I used up a lot, a lot of this. And I mean, it's still stunning as you guys can see, but this is actually a little dark for me unless the color has kind of changed. Wow, how did I wear this? It was actually probably way too dark for me the whole time. I just probably didn't really know any better. I also have the shade Churro, which is a limited edition. This was like one of their tie-dye ones. I remember being so excited for this when it first came out, but again, way too dark for my skin tone to be a highlighter. I don't know what even made me purchase these types of products in the first place. And I know how wasteful it is having this much makeup in my collection. And you guys know I have been making a conscious effort to do more shop my stash and using up what I have. But unfortunately, some of the stuff that I do have, I just feel like it's way too old to actually use. I might keep some of this stuff just for like 
a fun video like full face using some of my oldest makeup just for funsies and washing it off right away but for the most part i definitely think these ColourPop Super Shocks are gonna have to go. This one is in the shade Spoon, which I actually think is probably the newest one that I have. This one is really, really pretty as well, but it's a little bit too glittery for my taste. I think something else I'm finally going to part ways with after so long, this has literally survived every single declutter. This is my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. These used to be so popular, and I absolutely love these because the powders in here are seriously almost perfect dupes for the Kat Von D contour kit that used to be so popular. This one is in the shade Dulce de Leche. This one is for lighter skin tones and I actually shattered the whole light highlight powder which was my favorite part of this little duo. I find that although this was the lighter of the two contour palettes that they had, it was always pretty dark on me but I feel like I've really fallen off with contouring this past like year or two. I will be keeping the other version of of this which is in the shade caramel toffee I just really enjoy the shade of this more because I could use it as a bronzer and I also really love this banana powder you guys know how I feel about banana powders they are just some of my favorites one more thing I'm going to be decluttering out of here is this galactic skin glow in the shade moonlight I remember I got this in my first ever boxy charm it was my first or second boxy charm and although this is really pretty Pretty. I don't have anything bad to say about it at all other than the fact that I just don't use this It's still good. It's a gorgeous formula. It literally looks like glass on the skin like your skin is glowing It's just not my favorite type of highlighter, but I just don't find myself reaching for a cream highlighter So this is something I'm going to pass along as well because I feel like someone else could use that These Winky Lux Rose Blushes were just recently sent to me in PR. I did some swatches on all the shades on TikTok and IG Reels for them as well. And they're like a little bit thick and chunky. I don't really know the absolute best way to store them, but for now, I just think I'm gonna kind of just stack them in here. They're really pretty. I like being able to see all of them spread out when you open the drawer. Maybe if I push these up a little bit. I could just line them up on the side. That should work. Moving on to my next set of Alex drawers here. The first drawer at the top, as I'm sure some of you may know, houses my concealers, powders, and sponges. This drawer has just become very confusing to me because I really miss having a catch-all space kind of for like these extra things, my mirror, my fan. As I was mentioning earlier, maybe a place to store new products and Q-tips. So I definitely want to find a different place for these things. I have them in this first drawer because they're just things that I reach for. I want my mirror when I'm filming a video. I want my fan right away to dry my concealer or my setting spray. I think I'm just going to organize this and clean it up a little bit and maybe I'll move my fan and my mirror into a different drawer or just place it back on the top of here because I really do like having it in this first drawer because it's the most accessible. Do we like how this looks? This drawer, I swear, I feel like I am constantly changing up how it is organized, but it is definitely the drawer that I feel like I reach in the most. I guess before we settle the organization, there are a couple of things in here again that I know I definitely want to declutter. The first one being this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Please like this video or let me know or something if you guys have used this concealer. This is definitely old, but as you guys can see, I used a lot of it. I used up more than half of this, but 
oh my gosh i don't even know how old this is at this point again maybe from 2015 it's at least five or six years old now i've had this in my collection for a while although this is something that i used a ton i never liked it every single time that i wore this i felt that my under eyes looked really dry or like cracky the shade wasn't 100 percent perfect i feel like the shade range in this concealer was always really bad looking back i could see how like not sanitary the sponge tip is but I don't know this I just feel like is something that I got my use out of it is definitely like an old-school product here in the makeup community so I might declutter it out of my collection and again just put it aside for now for like an oldest makeup in my collection type of video thing but it has to get out of my collection this is not something that I'm using on a daily basis at all I think I'm going to finally declutter one of my favorites this is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade vanilla I don't know if you guys can see inside of the tube that this is empty. Every single time that I use this concealer, I am seriously scraping it off of the sides. I'm very happy that I got to use up almost 100% of this. I wanna say that I successfully used up like 97.7 percent of this concealer if not a little bit more this is one of my absolute favorite ride or die concealers but you guys the elf hydrating camo concealer is pretty much an exact spot on dupe for this concealer but i believe those are all of the concealers that i want to part with right now i'm going to be holding on to all of the loose powders in my collection i love all of the ones i have the aoa studio perfect powder maybelline elf halo glow is amazing and the laura mercier for like summertime or when i just want to use a high-end powder for a video however i do think that i could go ahead and go through some of these pressed powders because i know some of these are old i'm definitely going to keep my scenty beauty press powder i really like that one 100 keeping the makeup revolution bacon blot powder this is amazing for baking like my eyelids before eyeshadow is one of my favorites so that brings me to these two setting powders i think i'm going to part ways with in today's video the first one being the catrice prime and fine mattifying powder this is a transparent waterproof powder i did really really used to like this when my skin was more oily but I'm honestly just at that point now where I don't like anything mattifying although this is quote unquote transparent this does give like a pretty insane white cast on the skin if you guys can see so I'm going to declutter this one also sorry you guys if my nails look really nasty underneath they're really grown out I'm getting them done this week I'm getting a fresh set finally this is long overdue to be decluttered out of my collection this is the ColourPop no filter sheer press powder I love this for so long I use this a ton I love this to like blot my face or set my lids but as you guys can see it definitely has like this weird hard spot I don't know if something's growing or if it got kind of like wet and just that little area of the powder isn't good anymore but I definitely feel like I got my use out of this these powders are so inexpensive and I feel like I use this a ton I believe something like this is only like five dollars on Colourpop although I'm not sure if they make this anymore I have some brand new elf sponges that I want to open up and add it to my little sponge bin. I feel like you could never have too many sponges and I've been trying to switch mine out every couple of months. As I said earlier, for now, I do think I'm just going to leave my mirror back here and my fan because I like to use my fan to dry my concealer. So for now, until I kind of get a better system going when it comes to changing up the rest of my drawers i'm just going to leave those items there the very last drawer that i'm going to be cleaning and reorganizing in my makeup collection today houses most of my lip products now there are a couple of more drawers on this side of my alex drawer but the one above this has skincare which i don't really think i'm going to go through today i did just recently organize this a couple of weeks ago and then the one underneath this holds some makeup artist stuff. I hope I could lift this out. This is like so 
awkward and large. This is the Sunny Cosmetics full drawer lipstick organizer, if you guys were wondering. Oh, wow, I didn't even know that there were things back here. Surprise. Okay, you guys, so I just emptied all of the lip products out of the organizer. I will go ahead and show you <laughs> what is happening on my vanity right now, but I want to just totally reorganize this. I think I want to start with my bullet lipsticks in the front and then work my way back to taller products. So I just emptied everything out. Look, wait, I'll go like this so you guys can see what is happening. I think I have over 100 lip products for sure, which is absolutely crazy. I really like these Sunny Cosmetics organizers, you guys, when I first tried them out, but especially with this lip one, I just pulled out some of these pieces that have broken from these compartments, like in this area and this area, they just like totally cracked off and they were loose. So I don't know, maybe if I dropped it or maybe that happened when they first shipped to me and I never noticed. But nonetheless, I still really like just how you can maximize the space of your drawers with this type of organizer. So here's the complete lip drawer. I think this makes a lot more sense to me. I mentioned in my last reorganization video that I didn't love how the tall products shake when I open and close the door, but I do think it's just very user-friendly to have all of my products spread out like this. To me, this makes much more sense now that like my shorter lipsticks are in the front and it goes from shortest to tallest. I am pretty much a typical traditional bullet lipstick girl now. I reach for my glosses a lot. I have all of my Fenty glosses here. I put a high end in the first row, drugstore lipsticks in the second row. These are kind of like indie and like middle brands here. These these are all of my glosses. I have my lip liners in a couple of the containers on the side. And then I put my liquid lipsticks and chubbier lip pencils in the back because those are what I reach for the least. But I feel like this makes a lot more sense now. I feel inspired to dip into some newer lip products. And I do wanna show you guys I am decluttering a couple of products. The first ones being these NYX liquid suede. I'm sure some of you remember I've had these forever and ever on my channel. These are actually really, really great and very comfortable on the lips. I just have so many other lip options and these are very old, but these are some of the more comfortable liquid lipsticks that I have ever tried. I'm also decluttering these two lip glosses that are also old. This one is a Essence homemade gloss. Well, not homemade. I made it at BeautyCon New York City in 20... Wow, 2018 or 2019 now. This is the shade that I made. I don't really love this shade i don't get much use out of it and then this was also a huge hit for me as you could see all of the writing has rubbed off this is the wet and wild lip gloss in the shade featherless and i'm also decluttering these two ColourPop lippies the first one is from their hello kitty collection it's an ultra metallic lip which is just totally not my makeup style anymore and then the second one is their ultra satin lip in this bright purple shade i don't even know why i purchased this in the first place when i was like first getting into makeup i Feel like I definitely made some like weird impulse purchases, but I will never wear a lip color like this ever again. Last but not least, I'm going to be decluttering this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Kristen, another one of my favorites that is actually almost empty. If you guys can see, it's pretty dried up on the inside because I used up so much of the formula. It got really thin along the edges. This was a really nice lip gloss while it lasted. It's just pretty much empty at this point, And again, very, very old. 
gold. And as you guys can see, I have so many other lip glosses that I want to focus up on using up in my collection. Here is the bin of products that I decluttered out of my collection this time around. As I always do with my declutters, if things are still good and usable, of course I will do my best to find new homes for these products, but some of these things, unfortunately, time just slipped away from me. I have accumulated a lot of makeup over the years, and some of these things just got old, and unfortunately, I probably will have to toss. That is going to complete this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing me reorganizing and cleaning my makeup collection. If you did, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave. I would love to have you guys here as part of my little YouTube fam. If you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos, click that notification bell down below and you'll get notified every single time that I upload a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.